how to access our website go to any browser and type search creators click on the first link now you have entered our home page where 50k plus study materials are available along with 1000 plus project ideas we have 10 plus expert members in our team and we also support 50 plus engineering domains in navigation bar select university study materials there are three streams available computer science information science and artificial intelligence and data science for now we will click on computer science now we will be able to access all the study materials of different subjects of different semesters welcome back to search creators youtube channel today in this video we are going to look at the third topic in model 2 of cloud computing which is virtualization of cpu memory and io devices in this the first topic is introduction to virtualization support in hardware modern processors like x86 use hardware assisted virtualization to support virtual machines efficiently like in modern processors like in x86 hardware assisted virtualization is used to support virtual machines efficiently the virtual machine monitor which is vmm and guest operating system operate separate modes ensuring security and isolation the virtual machine monitor and guest operating system work separately by this they ensure security and isolation sensitive instructions of guest operating system are trapped in vmm preventing unauthorized hardware access next topic is hardware support for virtualization processors have two main execution modes which are user mode and supervised mode or privileged mode in user mode it runs application with limited access to hardware but in supervised mode or privileged mode it runs the os kernel and handles the critical systems operations virtual machine complicates execution because multiple os's run on a single machine we know that virtual machine allows multiple operating systems to work in a single machine when they are working together when the compilation execution occurs it causes complexity in them due to multiple OS's running on a single machine. Next is an example on hardware support for virtualization in Intel x86 processor and some theory is given below. You can go through this. And in this figure we can observe the Intel hardware support for virtualization of processor, memory and IO devices. You can go through this figure. Next is examples of hardware assisted virtualization tools. VMware workstation like host based virtualization, Zen hypervisor that modifies Linux as the lowest privileged layer, KVM uses Intel VTX, VT X, and AMD V for efficient virtualization. Virtual IO provides virtualized input output devices like ethernet disk memory ballooning and vga next is cpu virtualization virtual virtual machines execute most instructions in native mode for efficient except critical instructions like virtual machine execute most instructions in native mode for efficiency except in critical instructions Critical instructions are classified into three categories which are privileged instruction, controlled sensitive instruction, behavior sensitive instruction. In privileged instruction only execution in privileged mode which is ring 0. In control sensitive instruction modify system setting or resources. Behavior sensitive instruction depend on system configuration for example memory access. Next is CPU virtualization requires trapping virtualized instructions so that VMM can handle them securely. The RISC architecture are naturally virtualizable as all sensitive instructions are privileged itself. x86 architecture is not naturally virtualizable because some sensitive instructions for example SDDT and SM 
SW are not privileged and cannot be trapped by VMM. Let next, let the next, we we'll look at one example of system calls in Unix and Z. In Unix system, system calls trigger the 0 into 80 interrupt passing the control to the kernel. In Z, a para virtualization system, the system calls trigger both 0 into 80 guest voice and 0 into 82 hypervisor. The hypervisor processes privileged operations before returning control to the guest OS. Next, we are going to look at hardware assisted CPU virtualization. Intel and AMD introduced an additional privileged mode which is ring minus one from for privilegization. Like uh, uh, the additional privileged mode, like in ring minus one for virtualization. Now, the Hypervisor runs at ring minus 1 while the guest OS runs at ring 0. What happens is when the hypervisor runs on ring minus 1 and the guest OS runs at ring 0, it eliminates it any eliminates the need for complex binary translation used in like this process is used in full virtualization. Benefits are simplifies virtualization implementation, allows voices to run in virtual machines without modification, traps all privileged instruction in hypervisor automatically. Next, in this example, we can observe Intel hardware assisted CPU virtualization and some theory is given below. You can go through this. Next, in this figure, we can observe Intel hardware assisted CPU virtualization. You can go through this figure and some theoretical information about the figure and the CPU state VMC is given below. Next is memory virtualization. Virtual memory mapping in traditional systems. The OS maps virtual memory to machine memory using page tables like one stage mapping. Modern x86 CPUs use MMU like memory management unit and TMP which is translation look aside buffer to optimize memory performance and in this figure we can observe two level memory mapping procedure you can go through this figure for two level memory mapping procedure memory virtualization in virtualized environment physical RAM is shared and dynamically allocated, allocated among the virtual machines which are VMs a two stage mapping is required which is guest OS maps virtual ma memory to guest physical memory VMM hypervisor maps the guest physical memory to actual machine memory. Next is shadow page tables and nested paging. Each guest operating system page table has corresponding shadow page table maintained by the virtual machine monitor. This additional layer leads to performance overhead and high memory cost. Like this addition layer affects the performance overhead and higher memory costs can be observed by this additional layer. Nested paging, which is hardware assisted virtualization, reduces the overhead of shadow page tables. It is introduced by AMD's Barcelona processor, which came in 2007. Next is optimizing virtual memory performance. Virtual machine where uses shadow page tables for address translation. The TMP hardware enables direct mapping from virtual memory to machine memory, reducing translation overhead. Next, in this example, we can observe extended page table by Intel for memory virtualization and theory content for this is given below. You can go through this. Next, in this figure, we can observe memory virtualization using EPT by Intel. EPT is also known as shadow page table. Here in this figure you can observe this and you can go through this figure and some theory content regarding the shadow page table and page table is given in the below. Next is input output virtualization and multi core virtualization. Input output virtualization. In input output virtualization managers routing of input output requests between virtual devices and shared physical hardware. There are three main approaches to this. To this, in this figure, we can observe guest OS, device driver, device emulation, IO stack, device driver. Like this is a virtualization layer. 
In this figure, we can observe device emulation for input-output virtualization implemented inside the middle layer that maps real input-output device into the virtual device for guest device driver to use. You can go through this figure. Next is full device emulation. Emulates real world devices in software within VMM hypervisor. The guest OS interacts with virtual device and VMM handles IMU operations. By in this full device emulation, there is one drawback, drawback also, which is high, high overhead and lower performance compared to real hardware. Next is para virtualization, which is split driver model used in Zen. Uses front end and back end drivers to handle input output. Front end driver manages high mode request, requests in request in guest OS. Back end driver runs in privileged domain, which is domain 0, and manages the real input output devices. The pros in this is better performance than full emulation. Con is higher CPU overhead. Next is direct IO virtualization. It allows VMs to directly access physical devices. Pros in this is close to native performance, lower CPU cost. Con is limited support for commodity hardware and potential system crashes during workload migration. Like both pros and cons can be observed in direct IO virtualization. Next is hardware assisted IO virtualization. In VTD helps Remap IO DMA transfers and device interrupts allowing direct device access for virtual machines. Self virtualized IO, which is SV IO, uses multi core processors to virtualize IO devices, providing an efficient API for virtualized systems. Here in this example, you can observe we have a workstation for IO virtualization, and some theory content about this is given below. You can go through this. And in this figure, we can observe the functional blocks involved in sending and receiving network packets. In this figure, we can observe it and some theory content about virtual MIC models and we can observe some theory content about the sending and receiving network packets and virtual MIC models in this given below theory content. Next is multi-core virtualization. Virtualizing multi-core processors is more complex than unicore processor due to parallelization challenges. Like virtualizing the multi-core processor is more complex compared to unicore processor because of parallelizing challenges. Application must be explicitly parallelized to utilize all more efficiently. New programming models, languages, and libraries are needed for this. Next is task scheduling complexity. Scheduling algorithm and resources managers policies must optimize performance while handling core assignments. Next is dynamic heterogeneity. New architecture mix fat CPU cores and thin CPU cores in a single chip itself. Hardware reliability issues and increased complexity in transistor management make resource allocation more difficult in dynamic heterogeneity. Next is physical versus virtual processor cores. Virtual CPU vCPU migration. Well, CTAL proposed a method where vCPUs can move between cores dynamically. Reduces inefficiency in managing processor cores by software. Located below ISA making it transparent to OS and hypervisors. Like this is all about the third topic in model 2 of cloud computing which is virtualization of CPU memory and IO devices. So I hope you understand understood the concept. Make sure you download the model notes from our website. The website link is in the below description. And stay tuned for upcoming videos on module 2 of cloud computing. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.